this is the situation currently at the MTN office at Osu, where many have gathered venting their displeasure over the blockage of their SIM cards. While some seem to be oblivious about the entire process, others say that they have completed the two-step process, and yet their SIMs have still been blocked. They are angry about the situation and want something urgently done. Meanwhile, authorities here seem to have problems with the system. They say that the system has crashed, and hence they cannot do something about the situation right now. Up to now, almost the system is crashed. We don't know what is happening. My business is at stake right now. All our money is stuck on the phone. No, but you can't do anything. Customers are coming here and then. I have customers that calls me, I want to do this, I want to do I do all those things. Now, I can't do it because my SIM is being blocked. I have done everything that I'm supposed to do. Actually, I've registered my SIM. My, I've done a biometric too. I was here last week and they told me as was I hadn't, I had done the registration, but I hadn't done the biometric, so they told me to do it. And then when I, when they did it for me, it was supposed to start working. It wasn't working, All right? So they told me that well, I should wait for a while. It's going to work. So I went home and then I, I was using my Vodafone SIM, waiting for it to like start working. But I got SIM, uh, someone sent me money this morning, and then I've been trying to like check my account. It's not working. I tried to call MTN, and it's not going to like. I can't even make calls. I can't do anything. I'm working for 12 hours. So why they block me? Now I register too. I do everything. So I don't understand it. So today I'll, I'll close of course them. Well, the situation here at the Vodafone office at Osu, which is right opposite the MTN office, is a bit similar as people have also gathered here trying to get their blocked SIMs unblocked. Well, the process here is a bit faster because the system is working, yet many are still angry about the fact that their SIMs have been blocked. Judith Awachitando, TV3 News, Accra.